time to bring it to an end. Hearing news about this game when it was out in Japan only was like trying to log into the damn Obamacare website when it first came out. Disheartening, difficult, and just plain unpleasant. After many months of wondering if we were going to get it or not, Capcom gave it the green line and released it digitally. No pretty box for us filthy Americans. Dual Destinies picks up exactly one year after the events that occurred in Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, the fourth game in the series. This sees the return of our favorite defense attorney, Phoenix Wright. After an eight year hiatus, Phoenix returns to the courtroom to show us what the seasoned lawyer has to offer to the legal world. Even though his name is on the title, you don't get to play exclusively as Phoenix Wright. We also get to play as his understudy, Apollo Justice, and the lovely rookie attorney, Athena Sykes. You follow the lawyer's exploits through a number of ludicrous cases, starting with the bombing of a courtroom. This symbolizes the tone for the whole game. Phoenix has returned to put an end to what they call the Dark Age of the Law. The prospect of the Dark Age is the idea that the court systems cannot be trusted and lawyers will go out of their way to fabricate evidence as well as give defendants a terrible reputation. Anything is fair games if it means victory. The ends justify the means. God, I hate this little son of a... Graphically, Ace Attorney has received a major overhaul thanks to the 3DS hardware. Important sequences are portrayed through animated clips complete with voice acting. The character models look phenomenal compared to sprites from earlier games and Capcom has actually used the 3D feature very well. Characters pop out, you can view crime scenes in full 3D by changing your perspective. That being said, the use of full 3D character models as opposed to sprites make the characters look a bit more serious and less comical. Even with the over the top emotions and how expressive the characters are, the tone is far more serious now that the hardware has improved. This is a minor gripe that can be easily overlooked, but look at this footage from the third game Trials and Tribulation. Capcom has pulled some slapstick cartoony antics with the series before and they have literally made me laugh my ass off. Taking the look into account brings me to another point. This can be considered one of Japan's graphic novels with the emphasis on graphics. If you want to play through this game, you have to be an avid reader as 97% of the game is text. You investigate through text, you have courtroom battles through text. If you don't like reading, you might as well skip this one. The ESRB must have thought there was some seriously disturbed and sinister in all this text to slap an M rating on it. Granted, some of the murder scenes are quite a sight to behold, but I don't think any of the content merited an M rating. The tone of the game can be quite serious, cryptic, and even dark at times. This all goes hand in hand with the idea of the dark age of the law. In a regular murder case, both the prosecutor and defendant present a case, finding inconsistencies like any real life courtroom. Then, did this crazy motherfucker just get possessed by a demon crow? And, 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 and they're all okay with that. And now we're gonna let the robot testify. What kind of crazy courtroom we be up in? It is the sheer ridiculousness of this game that keeps you on your toes and provides plenty of laugh out loud moments. There are two gameplay modes to experience, investigation mode and turnabout mode. Investigation mode sees the characters out of the courtroom and this is where you visit the crime scenes, trace for clues and evidence, and at times even witness the crime. Turnabout mode is in my opinion where the series has always shown. This places the characters in a courtroom in an epic battle of wits, defense versus prosecution. As a player you have to find these inconsistencies or contradictions as the game calls them in the witness testimony, to find a piece of contradicting evidence and yell out the iconic OBJECTION! Literally. You can actually yell objection into your DS or if you're like me and feel like a total idiot yelling at your handheld. You can just use the buttons. Each one of the attorneys brings a special ability to the table. Phoenix signature Magatama returns which shows when people are lying or keeping secrets. Apollo can see the same with his special bracelet that stays unconscious ticks. And Athena's new ability comes in the form of the Mood Matrix. The Mood Matrix allows Athena to use her analytical psychology to get reliable testimony from witnesses by checking their moods. 
It seems gimmicky at first, but by endgame I have to say it's a great mechanic that will add a lot to the already quirky gameplay. This game has been scrutinized for being too linear, or the fact that you have to wade through a ridiculous amount of text to actually get the play. To these people I say, BLASPHEMY! You know exactly what you are getting into with an Ace Attorney game. It's going to be text, and text, and text, and text, and text, and when you think you're done, MORE TEXT! As far as the linearity go, I happen to agree with that statement. Especially with the sequences where the attorneys are summarizing the facts and trying to look at the case from another perspective. The game actually stops you from making the wrong decision and it only lets you choose the correct answer. I think this could have made for some great alternative solutions to the cases as well as an opportunity to give the game some much needed replayability. I am a true believer that the way the courtroom cases fall down is what makes this sort of game great. There is nothing that has stopped the third ace attorney trials and tribulation in this area since the last case was so insanely good. Dual Destinies actually lacks in this aspect, where the last case in Trials and Tribulation is an insane roller coaster that made me stay up till 3 a.m. even though I had to get up at 5, Dual Destinies delivers a lackluster performance in the final case. You are left with a big case that takes not one, but two episodes to solve. The main issue that I have with this is that you are not even left with the sense of satisfaction and accomplishment that we have all felt before playing this game when we uncover the truth. Suffice it to say that an old familiar face returns to this game, I won't spoil who, and even they can't save this last case. I will go out of my way to say the culprit is at fault, no one saw it coming, and in the end he remained a faceless criminal. Final case aside, Duel's Destinies is at its finest when you are given a true conundrum and little by little you uncover the truth. My favorite case by far was Athena's debut, Turnabout Academy. This case was an emotional roller coaster and it made me fall in love with Athena right off the bat. The character development implemented on her has made her into what I believe will be a fan favorite of the series. By the way, I absolutely love this theme. Objection! I could put a number on the game simply by comparing it to other titles in the series. Objection! Alright, alright, damn! I suppose that's not fair. Uh, we can take the standalone product. What we have in our hands is a hysterical package of murder mysteries. Who would have thought that investigating murders, crime scenes, and interrogating witnesses could actually be both funny, intriguing, and most importantly, fun? I'm looking at you, Detective Phelps. Shut your f***ing mouth! With some DLC already out and more on the way, wait. I can dress Athena up in a schoolgirl outfit? Oh, ya yeah, girl. Oh, ya yeah, girl. Feels so good around my. <coughs> <laughs> with, with some DLC already out and more on the way, I can say that Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies is a great addition for any 3DS owner. Fans of the series, I know you have already downloaded it. Anyone else? If you enjoy a good murder mystery, and you don't mind read it, go out and get it.